Kevin Ogutu now joins me live from Kisumu with the latest. Ogutu, I am so sure services at the county government have been halted. Good morning, uh, Brenda. Well, we are coming to live from uh, Kisumu town where, as you put it, we have got a serious crisis uh, when it comes to the workforce. We are made to understand that uh, from Friday of last week, the 4th of October 2019, uh, the union leaders in this county resolved to continue their strike until their terms of agreement, the return to work agreement that was signed between the various unions and the county government of Kisumu is uh, implemented. And uh, just to break it down for us, I will, I, I'm right here with Vincent Owa, who is the, the chair of uh, Kenya Union of Clinical Officers, Kisumu uh, County, and uh, he will be uh, shedding more light on um, the kind of agreement that was there that uh, apparently the county government of Kisumu has reneged on. So welcome to KTN News Center, Vincent Owa. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm made to understand that um, you guys have downed the, your tools right from Friday. Yes. So maybe first things first, let's talk about the contents of this kind of um, return to work agreement that was agreed on by between the county government of Kisumu and the various unions on the 26th of September. Maybe just break it down for us before we move into this, this current crisis. Thank you very much, uh, uh, KTN. I appreciate the opportunity. Um, we've had issues uh, with the county government quite for some time. Um, uh, uh, we've had discussions about uh, issues to do with salary arrears. You know, our staffs have not been paid since June. And uh, the county government did promise that they would uh, uh, remit the salaries into people's accounts by, um, by 4th. Uh, which they did not. We have issues with the uh, promotions, with the signation of workers. We have issues with the uh, uh, remittances of statutory deductions like loans and uh, NHIF, NSSF. We have issues with, uh, um, um, we have so many other issues. But um, the issues of concern as we speak um, are, uh, one is promotion, redesignation of, of workers. Number two is payment of salaries in time. Um, number three is payment of those statutory deductions, including loan, loans. You realize that um, our members have not been able to, uh, the banks have communicated to our members that, um, that loans have not been paid since June. I have a document, for example, here. Probably um, you can't look at it. But as you can see, this document is dated 31st of July uh, uh, 2019. Um, it's uh, from Kenya Commercial Bank balance of bank arrears of this much as at this duration. This person was, you know, had an arrears of two months that time as at 31st of July. That means that in May and June, this amount of money had not been paid. And the banks were threatening, as you can see, kindly arranged to clear these areas within the next 14 days. And that has not been done to date. So we, we, we are really in a bad state of affairs and our members are not um, even able to pay rent. They are not even able to get food in their houses. Kids have been sent home. They are not able to go to school. And so the county government did promise and they signed a document, which I also have here, um, which is called a statement of the return to work agreement signed by the county government. So return to work formula. So this document they signed, there were four issues here. Delayed salaries, statutory deductions, statutory deductions, um, pending loan deductions, confirmations and redistribution. Those are five agendas. And the county government did commit. And in fact, they gave a date of 4th. And you know when an employer gives a date, we even felt that that was on 26th. This document was signed on 26th, as you can see here, um, 26th of September. And it was signed by the county secretary. The county secretary, the chief officer of health, and then the four unions, mainly Kenya Medical Practitioner Dentist Union, um, Kenya uh, Me Medical Laboratory Officers Union, uh, Kenya uh, Union of Nurses, Kenya Union of U Clinical Officers, and then Kenya Union of Civil Servants. So this is a, a binding document that was signed by the county government of Kisumu. Uh, now, uh, Vincent, yes. there has been the back and forth regarding uh, the implementation of the return to work formula. Yes. And now that we are where we are, Probably for the sake of people, uh, those who will be seeking services from the various uh, county uh, county departments, um, uh, where do we move from here? Because uh, this is not the first time we are having such a kind of a situation. And of course, every time this happens, the worst hit department is always uh, the Department of Health, because that's where everyone goes. Otherwise, other when we have paralysis in the health sector, it's a big issue. So where do we move to from here? Do you have some kind of engagement further with the, with the county government? or to where, what, what, what do you tell Kenyans about this particular crisis? 
We have had engagements with the county government for a long time. Lastly, the last day we had an engagement was on Friday 4th. That was the last day that this return to, formu the, to work formula was supposed to be implemented, the last day. And uh, unfortunately, we did not agree. Remember that as from 26th up to 4th, we returned our members to work and they were working. And so um, when the government gave a date and then they failed to honor a document that they signed themselves, then it therefore means that they are not committed to this cause. And I want to tell the uh, people of Kenya that, uh, especially residents of Kisumu County, that we are in a very uh, difficult situation even as health workers. It is not our liking to withdraw workers from facilities. You know, like right now, there's no facility which is working in the county, right from the provincial, I mean, the, refer the referral hospital, Jaramogi Ogingo Dinga, to the local dispensary. Because we have withdrawn all the doctors, we have withdrawn all the clinical officers, all the nurses, all the lab officers, and all the other civil servants. So it's a very uh, difficult situation even for us. And I want to ask our members of the public to really support us in this. Because we cannot be able to see, um, 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 to see patients when we are when we are hungry. We cannot be able to see patients when our children have been sent out of school. We cannot be able to see patients when um, um, the landlords are on our necks. We are telling the members of the public kindly keep away from those facilities and go to uh, any private facility that you can afford until we sort out this issue. Otherwise, for our members, if you, um, if, as we said on Friday, we continue to ask you that you keep away from facilities. Stay at home as you wait for your salary. Stay at home as you wait for your loans to be paid. Stay at home as you wait for NHIF to be paid, because even NHIF has not been paid. Okay. Stay at home as you wait until such a time that as union officials, yeah. because we are the ones who call these people out, and we have the same authority to call them back to work. Okay. So you wait until we call you back to work, and we are urging the governor that he needs to lead from the front. Okay. You know, Kisumu County, there are only two professors in this country who are governors. The governor for, um, for uh, Professor Kivuta Kibwana of, uh, is it Makueni? Yes. And the governor of Kisumu County. Okay, yeah. So, doc, uh, uh, um, my director is telling me that we'll have to uh, stop it there, but of course, uh, your sentiments have been very loud and clear regarding the kind of crisis that we have here. Remember, uh, Brenda, we are not talking about uh, health workers alone. We are talking about uh, four unions here. We even have the uh, um, Association of Civil Servants, which uh, the, the representatives are being part of the union leaders who signed uh, this particular document that has now led to the paralysis of uh, the, the delivery of services in the various departments uh, within the county government of Kisumu. And as Vincent Owa, who is the chair of Kenya Union of Clean Up Officers, uh, is putting it, they will have to remain in their homes until such a time that uh, they will be told otherwise by the various union leaders. So as it sounds right now, we have got a, a serious crisis and of course we're just hoping that uh, maybe in the coming near future we'll be able to get uh, an address uh, from the leadership of this particular county. Back to you in studio, Brenda. Thank you so much, Kevin Ogutu. We hope that uh, the county government also bring that crisis to an end. Now, 